Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. So this story is called uh, The Rabbit's Bride. Once upon a time, there's a, uh, there's a mother and her daughter that live in a house. And uh, they have a beautiful cabbage garden. So, of course, there's going to be some rabbits that love cabbage. And in this story, we do have that such rabbit. This story is about Paul the Rabbit. This rabbit's... Because he comes by and he eats uh, he eats the cabbage, and uh, the mom tells tells the daughter, she's like, you gotta go out there and get that rabbit out of here." So she does. She goes down there and she says, "Shoo, shoo, get out of our cabbage, yeah." And then the rabbit said, "Sit on my tail, and I'll take you to my house." <laughs> Apparently, she didn't want to, so so he went away. Next day, yeah. he comes back. It's like a second attempt to get her heart. It's like first attempt didn't work. I tried this line, didn't work. Comes back and, he, and starts eating the cabbage. Ma says, "Daughter, go down there and get that rabbit out of here." And the and the uh, the girl's like, "Shoo, shoo, go away." And uh, he's like, "Sit on my tail, and I'll take you to my den." She says, "No." He goes away. Day three. Does it again. Gets gets up there, eats the cabbage. Mom says, "Go down, get the get the rabbit out of here." She goes down, and says, "Shoo." He says, "Sit on my tail, and I'll take you to my den, to my rabbit hole." And she says, "Okay," and gets on his tail. He wore her down. He's like, "Come on," because she's like, "If I don't say yes, he's gonna come back tomorrow, and eat our cabbage, and I'm gonna get in trouble, and I'm gonna have to come out here and do this again." Takes her back to the hutch and he tells her, cook me some food. Cook me some cabbage and some other food. <laughs> he said. Like, Very specific. And do it quick because our guests for the wedding will be here soon. Then she does it. She cooks some food. And then he, he comes back in the room and sees that she's still not dressed in her wedding dress. And he yells, the people are here. Hurry up and get dressed. Our what our Guests are waiting for the wedding. Yes. And then, who, do you ask, attended this wedding? Well, I can only tell you. What was told to me. All the hairs came. And the crow who was to be the parson to marry them. And the fox for the clerk. And the altar was under the rainbow. And she's sitting there, and she's really sad because she's lonely. And then the rabbit comes back in, and he was like, get up, get up. They're waiting for you, and he leaves, and she's just really, really sad, and she doesn't want to be there anymore. So she finds a bunch of straw, and then she dresses the straw up in her clothes, faces the straw clone um, in front of the pot of cabbage that's being cooked, and she sneaks out. And then the rabbit came into the room to get her because she still wasn't out there. Like, get up, get up. Yeah. Our people are waiting for you. And he hit her on the head. Because that was going to solve things. Knocked the head <laughs> right off the body. So the rabbit was like, oh shit, I just murdered this girl. Now I'm really sad. And I'm going to run away. Yes. <laughs> that's how it ends. And... I guess she lived happily ever after because she didn't have to deal with him. And he went away. To close the chapter on this episode until we meet again. And so the story goes, we turn the page to find the end.